All right, guys, welcome back to the Cold Pizza Review channel. Unfortunately, I got a very disappointing announcement to make on a review I was about to do on American Made product. Hold tight. <music> All right, guys, welcome back. I was about to do a review on this S-Wing 15 ounce hammer that came in today from Amazon, but I'm sending it right back and I'm not going to do a review on it and I'm not going to buy another S-Wing. You know, I'm trying to cover tools that are made in the U.S. And look at the head of this thing. It, look how it's sloping down. Look at the edge. Look at the edge here. And it's resting right on the claw. And even when you hold it, and you stare down at the, the, the head of the hammer, you see that it's sloping at an angle. There's no way I'm going to try to do any work with a hammer like that. I'm going to miss. Look at that. Look at the deviation here. Look at how great the beveling, even if the head was flat, look at the bevel there. And then you come to the other side. Look at that. You know, I was excited. Leather handle, 15 ounce, what I wanted. Waited a week for this to come in and are you kidding? It's supposed to be made in US? I mean, I'm centering up here. Let's get that centered with the magnetic nail guide and you see, golly. Look, we'll bring it from another angle. Just seeing how the bevel, look at, look at how the beveling stops right there. It goes from, I mean, we're talking a, a huge deviation just in the edge. Let's do the face straight on. You can see like even the surface area of the face of the hammer is off. Trying to bring this in a little bit closer so you can see. I mean, it's just not even symmetrical. It's way off. It's terrible. I don't, I just, it saddens me. I was excited to do a review on this hammer. It was one I picked out. You know, you pay $50 and not me, man. I'm going to support a U.S. company, but shoot. That's just... Who did the quality control there? I mean, I don't make hammers for a living, and I spotted it right away. Look at that. Yeesh. So, sorry, I'm not even going to get into the specs of it. I mean, it's the 15-ounce. Whatever. S-Twing. It's winging out of here i can tell you that so just wanted to give you guys an update i had a product that i was waiting on and had done research but i'm not going to review it there's no sense in reviewing it i'm not getting another one i just that just turns me off right there so i'm curious about if anybody else has an s-wing um what's their experience been with it have you seen quality like that i understand it's a hammer the finish looks good here on this shaft. I can't complain. I mean, it's a hammer, but I'm not expecting perfection. But the primary function, I mean, where we're making contact, I would even tolerate a little chip paint, but this is where I'm making contact. So if I come straight on and I slip off the edge of the nail, I mean, there's my finger. I mean, if I come straight on a, a nail head and then I'm going to, bend that nail head in and I'm not going to finish that nail off. I mean, this is, this is where it's supposed to function right here. Jeez. Anyway, let me know what you think about S swing. Have you had any, again, I'm looking at an American made hammer. I'm going to start my search all over again. Let me know what you think. And again, uh, try to keep it around 50 bucks. That's the kind of hammer I'm looking for, but this one's going back. And as always, appreciate you tuning in to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews.